this is Kiran. I'm going to show you how to install Red Hat Linux 6 on VirtualBox. So here comes our demonstration. We are going to start with new. Once we click new, you can see a wizard will be started. Click next. Here you need to provide any name. RHEL is mine. And operating system is Linux. And for version, you can go for 64 bit. Click next. In the memory settings, you can give around 1 GB of space that is 1024 MB. Now click next. In virtual hard disk you can go with default create new hard disk. Click next. In welcome virtual disk you can go for VDI and here you can go for fixed which will be a more performance. I mean the data or space will be allocated up front. Here you can go how much size of your instance you can go for 8 GB which was default and here in the summary details you can see if everything is fine once done you can click create now it will create the medium storage based on your fixed which was selected in earlier screens so all the space will be installed here itself in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6 you can see that's the image and here all the copy files will get installed a total of 533 got selected here one by one it will install I'll be skipping some of the path to quick this demonstration now once all are done you can see the next button will be enabled you need to click that once you click next you will be into a confirmation screen here you could see congratulations you have been installed successfully now a reboot is required for completion click reboot now I can see how the instance is getting rebooted. Once this is done, you will be given some warning and informational messages. If you don't want that to repeat again and again, you can click do not show this message again and say OK. Now behind the scenes, you can see the installation procedure and reboot is in progress with white and red bars in progressing. And also you could see the installation information below right Red Hat Enterprise Linux Server 6.0. You will be directed to log on screen, go with the root and the password that you will set during installation. Now you will be into terminal. You can go and type any command. We are done with installation. Thanks a lot for watching this. All the best. Hope you will see me in the later training sessions. So for all such installation, you can use the virtual box. VMware is another alternative for this. Thank you.